everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Gemma if you're new here and I own Handmade Gem. So I have a market tomorrow. I am basically ready, but I have a lot I need to do still. Just little things. So I thought what better way to keep me productive than do a little vlog about it. Um, and that is exactly what I'm doing today. It's the first market of the year. I'm so excited about it. So make sure you like, subscribe, um, and let me know what you think of the video, but we'll get into it. It's very sunny. You can't even see. It looks like I'm in the dark room. Ooh. <laughs> let me just close this. That's better. Awesome. So we've got some light. Today is Saturday. My market is tomorrow. So the things I need to do are um, to make more bath salts, because I only have a couple bath salts, and... They do sell well at markets sometimes, so it just depends on the, you know, audience. I want to film some tag peeling because I need to put finish putting tags on all my bandanas and headbands if I have time. Headbands I can do at markets, bandanas I like doing here. Um, and then I need to do stock check, just final stock check, just to make sure that I know like this is how much I've sold, this is what sells well, this doesn't, etc. So it just helps me out for future markets. Um, and then I want to change the bandana on my dog, my toy dog. Um, still doesn't have a name, there's a few cute names suggested on TikTok and everything, so I'll go through them um, and we can have a little vote. Um, and if I have time, I want to make some scrunchy clips because I only have a few left, so they're these ones. Um, in like the different colors so I would love to make more if I have time and then I have a whole lot of signs that I need to do so um, just like the velvet scrunchy sign, satin scrunchy sign, makeup wipes, all those things that I want to do on my craft paper. Now I nearly cried and came out the other day because I found out my craft paper, I say it's mine but like their craft paper is clearance. So what did I do? I went to all the stores near me and literally bought all their stock. It's the card stuff as well, which I use for not as much as the craft paper, but I was annoyed. And I ordered everything I could online. So I have like a unlim not unlimited, but like a big supply of craft paper now and I'm really happy about it because I went into stress mode and I literally, I walked into Kmart because I needed more craft paper, walked over saw there was this just like on the shelf and I was like okay awesome but it was on a clearance end and I was like oh there's no tag there maybe it's just an accident then I look around and I'm like I can't find where it's meant to be why can't I find it so I go over to the girl who worked there I was like hey just wondering um if you can check the stock for me like I'm just after more of this and she checks and she's like oh so it's actually clearance and I literally I froze I was like what and I was so close to crying because this is literally like I use it so much and you can't get craft paper the same color and the same quality as this like normally Kmart kind of sometimes lack in their quality of products but oh my god I was so upset so I literally went home upset went on my laptop did some searching got all the click and clicks possible ordered everything possible from on their online store and I'm happy again so I'll be happy until that runs out which is going to be interesting how long it takes um but yeah that's my little story regarding the craft paper anyway I'm going to start on the bath salts I think now just because that's like the top of the list and I'll work down the list from there so let's go so my studio is a mess at the moment like I mean it's not that bad but it's just because I've got all my market stuff and everything um, ready but this section is not as tidy as it used to be but um, this is where I keep all my bath salts so or like bath salt things to make the bath salts with so I'll show you up here obviously this part and then down here are my shelving and then I opened this one and this is where I keep the bath salts plus a couple of random headband fabrics which I'll pop over there in the mess of things over there. Anyway, so this is my bath salt thing so I'm going to use all this. Um, and I'm actually going to make some big ones which I haven't sold at markets before. And then some small ones which I have all down the bottom which you can kind of see. So what I do first is I, if they have got the label in, it means that I haven't washed them or anything. So I just go put them in the dishwasher or wash them by hand depending on how much time I've got. And then I make up the mixture in here with like the Epsom salts and stuff. 
really hoping that I have enough because um, I haven't stocked up in a while so really hoping that it's enough it should be I've got a couple of each anyway so if I run out then I run out but we'll see how we go I have just laid them out as you can see there those labels are not in there which means that they're all washed and everything these ones I have to wash out um, but I'm just gonna work out how much I want to actually do because I already have some made up as you can see um, I just don't know how many I want to take because I can always make more for my next market I do have a market on the 7th of May as well um, that one's in Montrose and then I've got a pop-up store coming up which is very exciting um it's going for a month so there's no details announced with that just yet but keep an eye out if you're local um because i'm very excited for that pop-up store i realized i've never filmed with this background before it's obviously not as pretty as the fabric wall and everything but there you have it i will go wash these out and everything and then i'll come back and i'll probably do a little time lapse of me making the bath salts and then move on to something else. So it is now, yeah, it's now half past one. Um, I have done a lot. So all these boxes are filled. So these are the ones already with scrunchies. They're my normal ones. And then this one is just like um, paper bags and like my setup. So like my earring. I'm not actually having earrings at this market, but I'm using it for my clips. 
um, and then my headband stand and then my table covers and stuff and then this one has the bath salts as you would have seen and then the wristlets as you would have seen which I did a stop check final stop check as I packed it and then I have my price boards so they're these ones I love these like they're so good for price boards the only thing is sometimes the letters fall off which is a bit annoying but still make do I might just take spare letters which is good and then I have my A-frame which I sometimes use sometimes don't use but I always take just in case and then over on the ground oh, over here I've got my pegboard which also has like the stand in it um, and my wristlet stand which is new and my pegs in that bag so that just stays in that because it's easy and keeps it all together um, then I've got my bandana thing so I've just got to hang up this bandana and that's all like the display ones so I think they're really cute I'd use the smalls for display because they're just like easiest and most aesthetic and then I have the different sizes so I've got a couple of new ones and um, they're not on the website yet so I'm going to trial them at market so we've got this one which I put on backwards oh and then we've got the flutterby because you guys are obsessed with it in the wristlet and scrunchie so I was like I have to have it in the bandana this one's on the website but hasn't been at markets yet so it's the glitter mermaid and then we also have like the other mermaid one and then we have the sage green flowers which are so pretty and then the navy stars and then yeah the donut one which has been that's an og so i think i, I don't know i just love this stand the only thing i would change is that the fact that these are gold but it's just a minor thing i don't really need to change that currently so yeah i'll hang that one up so that's all hung up and everything and yeah i think they're really colorful so i just transport it on there um just because it's easier and it's less for me to have to clip them all on um but these ones they are ready so they can be sold like that if i really run out of them um i've made three of each of so three of each size in each three sizes of each individual one if that makes sense so three small three medium three large of donuts then etc so we'll see how that goes and then down on the ground we have organized chaos i promise but we've got my reusable makeup wipes um and then a few spare baskets they i just transport these in the baskets because it's easier i have my lucky dip basket which I will put all my Lucky Dips in and then probably put that on top. Who knows? I've got to get my Lucky Dips out and make sure I have enough. And then in here we've got all the bandanas. So I haven't finished putting the tags on some. So I've still got to do some tags. They're up there. We've also got the trolley tokens. Which sell quite well actually. Like I'm really happy with how they sell. Um, but now what I have to do is go through my headband. Whoa. Go through my headbands and just make sure that I've got enough of each style. If I've got too much, then I kind of cull and everything. Um, so I'm going to do that one. And then up here, I've got to put the new bandana because that's the Christmas one. So I don't want to have that. I'm just going to put the poor one because it's a nice neutral. These didn't fit in my containers as you would have seen. So I've got to just put them in a bag. Clips. I think I've decided I'm not going to make any more clips. I'm just going to make do with what I've got. I've got like one or two of each, so like it'll do. They don't sell too much at markets. It really just depends, but I'll make sure for my May market that that's what I need to make because I've yeah made so much, so I kind of like can afford to not make these because yeah they don't sell as well. In saying that, they'll probably sell the be, be the best seller of tomorrow. Now that I've said that, but oh well. And then these are my little tags which you would have seen in a few videos so i've got to finish sewing these on just these ones i think there's about 12. who knows don't have much to do so i'll do that in a second um and i'll do that on time lapse but that's really all i've got to do the only other thing i have to do is print off all the signs which won't take too long because it's just like me doing it on the computer on canva um and then printing on the craft paper i do like laminating though so i might need to laminate them and that will probably take the longest that is i'm gonna actually take that down now because otherwise i will forget it got to get that sign and yeah there's actually not too much more to do i'm really surprised because i'm usually like frantically running around and everything but i'm trying to give myself the afternoon to myself to be able to relax with family and stuff so Hopefully I can do that um, and then I'll pack my car later tonight because I don't like packing it during the day because I don't like leaving the things in the car. Um, and yeah, I've got my float and everything organized as well. So I did that at the start of the week um, 
because obviously like banks are closed after lunchtime on Saturday so I was like I'm not leaving it to the weekend so and then I just got to charge my square reader tonight so yeah I'm really impressed with myself um I don't know what I'm gonna start on first I think I might do the headband stock and then do the bandanas and then do the signs It is now like I don't know 15 30 minutes later um, but it's time to change the band down I had a fair few comments on a TikTok suggesting names so I'm going to come on here um, and ask you your opinion the um, suggestions for this little buddy here were biscuit um, there was briar um, Bruno fudge or buddy so a lot of bees um so i feel like we have to go with a bee but i do love fudge i think fudge is so cute so i really don't know i love like not having a name for him because then people like kids at the markets will come up and be like oh what's his name and i'm like i don't know like what what is his name and i ask them i don't know i think it's time to give him a name also this was our gingerbread galore i think it was called um, one of our Christmas ones. So I think you can still purchase them online. I've still got them there. I literally just use a cat collar. But I'm going to swap it with our porcelain bandana just because I think it's more neutral. And obviously it's not Christmas time, so it'd be a bit weird to have the gingerbread one there. All right, so I've now got it on the collar. This is like a tutorial if you wanna put it on your dog. So all you do is you thread the collar through the holes in the bandana. And then you put it on just like a normal collar until you wrap it around it. So I've got the whatever his name is. It's either Briar, Bruno, Buddy, Fudge or Biscuit. And then I clip the collar together. There we go. And then now he's got a little bandana. And it's so cute. Um, some people like having the bandanas on the back of the animal. Some people prefer it more like a bib sort of look, which I think is really cute as well. Having it like that. Obviously, it depends on the dog, depends on the cat, whatever animal you're putting it on. Um, I like doing it on an angle for markets, just so it kind of shows that it is a bandana. It's kind of like a cape. So, very cute, very excited. He's all dressed now. And now I'm going to, I found these extra scrunchies and wristlets, so I'm going to put some tags on them. And then I'm just going to get sewing this, and then I'll do the signs so not much longer now um i might do this like later tonight when i'm watching tv or something so i might not do this on camera also one last thing this crate if it's gonna focus how adorable is it and it's like the perfect color to match my logo so pretty um it came in a pack of five there was like this one a green one which we got in our pantry um, and then there was three others, which I got in my bedroom, and they are like pinky purple tones, all from Coles. If you're Australian, from Coles, this is, that's like our supermarket. So that's like, I don't know what the equivalent in America and everything are, but from Coles, where we get our food and everything, I was shook. And it was $7 for a pack of five. That's not even like $2 each. Like, oh, I was so happy. So very happy about it. The only thing it is a little broken here, but I can turn it around that way and everything's okay. So I am very obsessed with it. Um, so if you see it in my videos or in photos, that is why. And yeah, they're just the bandanas that I've got left. So I'm going to do that now.
I have now um, put everything, like all the small things in that bag. Those are all full um, and then that's full. And the only things I have left are to do them tonight, so do the tags tonight. Um, my square rate is on charge and then now I'm just going to do the little signs that I have. Well, um, just the little signs that I have. So that's really about it. Um, I will probably film me packing my car later and everything. I might put a few clips in of the market tomorrow if I have time. But thank you so much for joining. Please make sure you like, subscribe. Let me know below your favorite thing or um, what you want to see in the future. But yeah. So I'm just going to stand here in front of the light. I've packed it. I just need to add the weights, my chair, and a few other things. Not too many things, but it's all packed. I feel like I'm getting better at packing every single market, which is pretty good. No, my camera died halfway through, so enjoy the sunset. But yeah, I'll see you at the market tomorrow.